and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be ranking all the Theme Builder 2 players now. And by all, I mean all of the relevant ones. So, guys, I was thinking about it, right? And I know me as a Madden player, before I did YouTube... When a content drop like this came out with 64 brand new players, I know a lot of you guys probably have Madden anxiety right now. You're probably sitting here like, who do I pick up? Who should I get? What should I do? There's so many. Who should I spend my coins on? Now, in my opinion, guys, when it comes down to this, I feel like this list is going to help you guys. I'm going to do the top 10 defensive and top 10 offensive players. Now, these are going to be all like the meta players that you kind of want on your team. I'll give you guys my reasoning behind all of them. Don't worry, guys. I got you guys. Now, as far as this video goes, we will be continuing our day-long giveaway today. So, as it works, guys, I did, by the way, reference that I will not be doing a giveaway per video. It will be whichever video on the day gets the most likes or the one that gets the most support or whatever. I will be doing the giveaway on that one. So, if one video gets 1,000 likes, the other one gets 200 likes, I'll do the giveaway on the 1,000 one. So, just enter all of them for your best chance of winning. So, same thing on today's, guys. Every 80 likes that we get will be another 10,000 coins given away. So, if we get 800 likes, that's 100,000 coins. So, all you got to do is enter, like the video, comment down below the number of likes you are, and make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once you do all those things, you're interested to win, guys. Now let's get into this list. So I'm gonna start with let's uh let's start with offensive. So starting at number 10, guys, it comes down to a few things here. Power-ups are part of it. Now, some guys don't have power-ups, which is gonna limit them. But for the most part, guys, we're still gonna make do with this. I'll kind of reference who will be better if they did have a power-up, and then you guys are gonna be asking that question anyways. But these players are super solid. This is a better drop than last year. The issue with last year was they dropped a ton of cards and not all of them were that great. They have a lot of great cards this time around. So coming in at number 10 for offense is going to be DJ Moore for the Carolina Panthers. Now DJ Moore, what's good about DJ Moore is his speed. Now his speed 96 and DJ Moore doesn't have a power, which he'd be a lot higher than this list if he did. But chemmed up and everything, he's going to have a 96 speed. Going to have close to a 99 spec catch with go deep. 99 deep route running almost with go deep. Going to be a super solid deep threat on a Panthers team too. Of course, he's great. Now, guys, if he does end up getting a power up in the near future, he will be a lot higher on this list. But for now, he's only as low as that. Next, we got Ryan, the right tackle for, I'm not even going to say his last name, for the uh, New Orleans Saints. Guys, super solid right tackle. Comparing him to, I'm not even going to compare him. My right tackle sucks right now. 96 pass block, 96 pass block power, 94 pass block finesse. And then across the board, about 95, 94 in the run blocking. And he believe he can be powered up. So powered up and chemmed up. Going to get close to 99 pass block, as well as really high 98, like 97 overall run blocking. Going to be probably the best right tackle in the game, as well as going to be an end game type right tackle. Coming in at number seven, left guard Quentin Nelson. Same thing, can be powered up. You power up and come up all the way. Going to be a super, super solid left guard. Now, I only have Bruce Matthews, so for me, it's a huge upgrade. He can pass and run block, which is important, right? For me right now, I care about pass and run block. And if they can only do one, it's got to be run block. And he's a super solid run blocker and a very feasible pass blocker. Coming in at number seven. Now, number six, another 10. Guys, the offensive linemen were super solid. They gave us a lot of choices. Joe Staley. His pass blocking is a 94, 89, 94. Solid pass blocking, but what's important here is the 97 run block, 99 run block power, 96 run block finesse. For all you stretch, you stretch losers out there who run stretch all game, this is your dream right here. He's going to hold that end or outside linebacker with everything he's got. Going to be perfect for stretch, as well as like inside zone type runs to his side. You guys definitely want that, and his pass block is still great. In a, in a run heavy game, you got to be focused on the, the running aspects of it. Coming in at number six, guys, this guy is would have been higher on the list if they didn't drop a better running back, but Dalvin Cook. 97 overall, 94 speed, 95 excel, 97 agility, 95 break tackle, 94 elusiveness. His catching should definitely be higher. He's an underrated catcher. He did not even in real life. He's a very good catcher. Madden underrates him, but super solid. Powered up and chemmed up. Can probably get a speed with sprinter to like a 97, which is super amazing. That's amazing. As well as like a 99 break tackle, 99 agility, 99 excel. Gonna be super amazing powered up. But I think there's still a better running back on this list. Coming in at number five is going to be Brandon Scherf. Now Brandon Scherf, super amazing again. The run blocking is just insane. His his pass blocking is good. It's not the best, but it's good. But his run block is going to come close to 99 all around the board powered up. Again, you can this this drop is going to allow you to create a pretty juiced running scheme just off these new um, linemen. Now, here's where it starts to get good. Number four, Darren Waller. He does have a power up now because Darren Waller powered up and chemmed up. If you put Sprinter on him, John Man Athleticism, and you have his power up card, he will get to a 96 speed. A 96 speed at tight end, guys. That's absolutely ridiculous. He'll have 99 spec catch, close to 99 catch in traffic, close to 99 catching. He's going to be the best catching speed combo at 6 foot 6 tight end. Now, his run blocking sucks and his route running is not great. So, you want to you combine him, in my opinion, with another tight end like George Kittle. You have Darren Waller and George Kittle. You'll have your run blocking tight end as well as your route running tight end. Going to be a great guy in like running sets. Trust me, guys. 
And, if, and when they think you're running the ball and you just streak it up the middle to Darren Wall, he's going to burn past those safeties. Especially useful when people start to blitz you and stuff and play really heavy in the box to stop your running game. You just put him on a quick little streak. He will get right past the safety. He's too fast. Absolutely insane. Next is quarterback Ryan Tannehill. Guys, Ryan Tannehill could have been in contention for number one had if he has a power-up. If they give Ryan Tannehill a power-up, he's going to be one of the best quarterbacks in the game. Compare him to a guy like Patrick Mahomes, right? If you could power up Ryan Tannehill and come him up all the way, he will be just as fast as Mahomes. They will have the same speed, powered up and chemmed up everything. He'll have he'll have 99 throw power, powered up and chemmed up, because it doesn't matter. Mahomes can't get any higher than 99. If you put go deep on Tannehill and you put it powered up, he will have a 99 throw power. His short accuracy is better than Mahomes, but again, with chems and everything, going to be the same. Medium accuracy is actually better than Mahomes powered up. Deep accuracy with go deep and everything, going to be 99, better than Mahomes. Throw under pressure is going to be one different. Throwing the run is going to be like one or two less, but that doesn't really matter because he's going to get dashed and dead eye. And then play actions higher. Ryan Tannehill potentially could even be better than Patrick Mahomes, if not the exact same thing with a power up. So definitely be on the lookout for a Ryan Tannehill power up, guys, because this card is crazy good. They dropped a, it's a 99 quarterback with a 97 overall. That's how good he is right now, guys. I promise you. Number two is going to be Alex Mack. Like I said, I'm really big on these run blocking uh, linemen. He will get across the board running about 99 run blocking across the board powered up and chemmed up. Going to be insane. If you have him, you got Scherf, you got Ramsick, you got Nelson, you're going to be able to, you're going to have the boys. You're going to have these, like the Cowboys O-line in real life. That's the difference you're going to feel like. I'm telling you guys, solid O-line choices. And number one, Saquon Barkley, probably the best drop of this whole promo in my opinion. Saquon Barkley is an absolute dog, guys. I have him fully powered up to 99. Let me show you guys right here. He's 99 on my team on my team. You can't see it here. On my team, guys, he has a 98 speed. A 99 excel, 99 agility, 99 carrying. He gets to 99 break tackle. The trucking I can care less about in the elusiveness and the catching, guys. Best drop of the game. I highly recommend if you haven't already, pick up a Saquon Barkley card. He's super amazing. You will not go wrong with the Saquon card. Now let's get into the defensive side. We have quite a few guys to go over there. So starting off at number 10, Quinton Dunbar. He can be powered up, which is a good one of the reasons he's up here. Powered up and chemed up. He's going to get close with Sprinter. It's like a 97, 98 speed, 99 Excel, 93 agility. You're going to have 99 play rec. Going to have close to 99 man. Actually, you probably will have 99 man. Going to have 99 press. So he's going to be 99 press, 99 man, 99 play rec, 97 speed, 99 Excel. Going to be one of the best cornerbacks in Madden 20 right now. I just don't have him higher because I know Dion and all these guys are going to be getting cards soon. So I don't want to put him up too high just yet. Next, Dion Jones at number nine. Deion Jones is super solid. I didn't put him up higher though because he's kind of up so he's kind of up to par with a lot of other linebackers right now. So I feel like the next linebacker drop's gonna kill him. Compared to like Shazier, which is one of the best ones right now, obviously. Same speed. He could be powered up. So have better speed than um Shazier. Gonna have better excel, less strength, way better tackle, better play rec, less block shed, better hit power, and really amazing zone. You could probably get him to like a 95 zone on a uh, on your team chemed up. Gonna be a super solid linebacker, but I envision a Willis or a Lewis will probably pass him pretty soon. Coming in at number eight is going to be Kenny Clark. You, you got you to gotta keep the big boys up in here. 97 overall defensive tackle. Powered up and chemmed up, which he can be powered up. Going to have 99 play rack, 99 block shed. That's all I got to hear. He's going to be one of the best run stopping defensive tackles with an 85 excel, which is super underrated because that's going to be great in him actually stopping plays. 99 strength, powered up and chemmed up. And he can still pass rush a little bit. Super solid. I think I have other choices for defensive tackles. Might wait for like a mean Joe. But you definitely can't go wrong with him. Next. We got Mr. Jerome Baker. I believe he's left outside linebacker. You guys, the outside linebackers are pretty solid. He's got 92 speed, 92 excel, 90 block shed, 97 tackle, 94 play rec. Thank you for that, whoever just bought that out. His power move, his, he can't pass rush. He's more of like a guy you want to put out in the field. But the difference is, is going to be what he can do in the open space. Now, his zone isn't great, which kind of sucks. If EA gave these guys zones, they'd be overpowered. He only has a 78 zone, but you put lockdown on him, you can get him to an 80 zone with powered up. and can, He can be powered up though, but... If you chem him up, you can get him to about an 80 zone coverage, and you can get his um, play rec a little bit higher. He's going to be one of the best in space outside linebacker just for that pure speed alone and stopping the run, and he has a great block shed. Coming in at number six, a guy that I'm a big fan of, although I don't think he's the best option at this position, Cameron Jordan, 80 speed, 87 excel. He can be powered up. Powered up and chemmed up, he's going to get 99 power move, 99 play rec, close to 99 block shed. So he's going to be one of the best run stuffing pass rushing combos combined with great athleticism you really can't miss out on Cameron Jordan he's gonna be a solid option and guys a lot of these guys are interchangeable my top five more likely is gonna be my top ones now Shaq Barrett Shaq Barrett would be a lot higher a lot higher if he can get a power up if he can get a power up he would have been in line for like one of the top three spots powered up and chemed up let's say if he could get it he would get a 90 he probably will get a power up in the near future he would have a 90 plus speed like a 94 excel which is crazy for an outside linebacker Lawrence Taylor s with 99 finesse move and close to 99 block shed 
That's insane. He's going to be one of the best run stuffing, pass rushing, athletic combos in the game. He'll be like a Lawrence Taylor on the other side. Only thing holding him back is that power up that he's missing. And then we actually got TJ Watt in the next spot. He can be powered up. TJ Watt powered up and Kemdo. Gonna have a 90 speed with sprinter and everything on him. Gonna have above 91 Excel, somewhere uh, probably in the 93 range. Gonna have 99 finesse move. Gonna have a 99 play rec. And going to have a pretty high block shed. He's kind of like Shaq Barrett. In fact, Shaq Barrett could be powered up. I think Barrett would be better powered up. And then we got the zone, which is too low. If his zone was better, he'd be a real beast there. Next, guys, a guy that I really like and I'm contemplating picking up. But I feel like it's a trap. The cornerbacks, we're gonna get a lot of Ultimate Legend cornerbacks like Champ and Dion, Nitro and Lane, we just got. But Kendall, Kyle, Kendall Fuller, Kyle Fuller, super insane, guys. 94 speed, 95 Excel, 99 zone. Powered up and chemed up. He's going to get to a 96 press, 99 zone, 99 play rec, a 97 zone. I mean, 99, 97 man. Going to get like a 95 jumping, 94 agility. Going to get close to, I believe, like a 97, 98 speed. Going to be one of the best cornerbacks in Madden. You can pair him to Deion Sanders or Night Train Lady blows him away. Pair him to Mel Blunt, blows him away. Pair him to Deion. He's going to blow Dion away technically because he's going to have way better coverage as well as way better press and uh, just physicality. But the next Dion will probably blow him away. Dion's always going to be missing in physicality though. Then for the next one, we got Fred Warner. Now, this Fred Warner, if I have my choice, guys, if you get Fred Warner, he's amazing, but you got to put him on the out, left outside linebacker spot. You want to pass rush Lawrence Taylor in a 3-4 and then I want him in the zone. Guys, he's super underrated. 89 speed, 94 excel, 88 block shed. Chemmed up and powered up. He's going to be a, one of the better block shedding outside linebackers. Great tackle, great play rec, amazing athleticism, six foot three. But the real key to this Fred Warner card right here is going to be his zone coverage, which is what a lot of guys don't have right now. That's going to be an 86 zone. Powered up and chemmed up with lockdown, he's going to have a 90 zone coverage, which means he will be able to play like a cornerback in the outside linebacker spot with great height, great speed, and everything. Going to be going to be great in like a three four scheme. It really depends on your scheme, of course. If you don't if you don't put him in the zone, you don't want him. Now coming in number one, I got to go with. The Marcus Lawrence. This card is super solid, guys. 82 speed, 90 acceleration, 95 block shot, 97 play rec, 93 power move, and 98 finesse move. Now, you're going to put him on and compare him to Musa Michael Strahan. Way better athleticism because you're going to be able to, you're going to power him up and chem him up. Well, mine's not powered up, obviously, but both powered up. Going to be similar in athleticism, but still better. Strength lower. Tackles the same, but the play rec is a huge difference. The block shed's a huge difference because his block shot will get to a 99. Power move doesn't really matter to me because he does have the finesse move. He's going to have 99 finesse moves. So he's going to be one of the tied for best pass rusher in the game. Tied for one of the best run suffers in the game. Tied for one of the best play wrecks in the game. Great athleticism. Great height. Great tackle. Guys, this card's a monster. I think in my opinion, guys, now to wrap it up. Defensively, you want to go, you want to get, you want to get, get into Marcus, maybe Fuller and Warner for sure. Offensively, you got to be picking up Saquon. Offensively, a lot of those guys are circumstantial depending on your team. But I think Saquon, DeMarcus, Warner, and Fuller are like can't miss guys. If Tannehill gets a power up, can't miss. And then all alignment across the board. Guys, that's about it for the rankings. That was a lot. If you guys liked the video and you guys want to enter the giveaway, make sure to down below. Like the video, comment your like number down below, and make sure to subscribe to the channel once you do all the things you're entered to win. Good luck, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will be doing a Saquon Barkley gameplay today, so stay tuned for that. I'm out. Peace.